Hello my color screen viewers, Pedro here from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a home screen by RDX HD. It is named Today. And this is possibly one of the cleanest but yet still one of the most minimalistic home screens that I've seen on my color screen for a long time. And it features this type of typography, uh, text looking home screen. It really is just all text. Uh, but it's a very clean looking home screen. Now he made this home screen specifically for Nexus 4 users with a custom ROM But I have some great news for you guys today I actually resized everything including the ultimate custom clock widgets and the wallpaper So you do not need to be rooted to put this home screen onto your Android device But let's get right into this Android home screen tutorial Alright guys, so here's the home screen by RDX HD named Today. Now it is a very sleek, minimalistic type home screen. All you fans out there that like the minimalist type style of your home screen are going to love this home screen by RDX HD. Now I'm going to be taking a quick little run view or overview of the home screen itself. On top here I have my calendar which is actually a hotspot. I can actually tap that and it opens up into my calendar. Over here I have these three little bars which I can actually tap that also and it goes right into my settings. On the top right I have a search bar. I can tap that and it goes right into voice search. The middle is my weather along with my temperature and the current location. I can tap that to actually update the weather for my needs. On the bottom is my utilities and favorite folder and on the bottom here are also my messages, emails and calls. Now you can actually tap any single one of these and they open to the right corresponding app that you set up. But as I always say, enough of me talking, let's get this gorgeous minimal home screen set up onto your Android device right now. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go right into our Nova settings. Now I do believe that this does work on Apex, you could work uh, all on your needs, it really just depends on your grid size. So we're going to go right into our desktop settings. Desktop grid is going to be a 12 by 5, 12 rows, 5 columns. We're going to go right into width margin, it's going to be set to none. Our height margin is also going to be set to none. Make sure that that persistent search bar is shut off. And that we are making sure that the label icons is unchecked. Resizing widgets is all checked. And under the advanced tab, which you can get to right under here, you just tap that. That you check widget overlapping and you also check overlap when placing so you can hop right out of that your draw settings can be set to your own personal needs go into dock we're going to shut it off completely go back look and feel you make sure that we can actually show our notification bar and that is it for our nova slash apex settings next up we're going to be setting up our wallpaper that is needed for this home screen so we're going to simply Hold down our home screen once you guys have all the settings uh, that you need for your Nova launcher or Apex launcher. But also make sure before you do this that you download all the files that you need down below. Now down below is the Nexus 4 with, uh, without root files and then there's also the root files that he provided. So if you guys want to you know, put this on your home screen but you don't have root, uh, you can actually just download my files down below. But if you guys do have root, you can just download the files that he provided. So yes, we're going to hold down our home screen, we're going to go right into wallpapers, we're going to go into our gallery, and I put it under the folder named today, and it should be right here, I'm going to simply tap that, and it should resize accordingly, now if you guys did not, well it just does not work, it does not resize to that, we're going to simply tap that, and hit portrait, make sure that is check, I'm going to hit ok, and that is it for the wallpaper setup. Alright, so now that we have our wallpaper all set up, we're going to go right into our ultimate custom clock widgets. We're going to hold down the home screen, go into widgets, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. We're going to select that, and we're going to be doing a one by one. Now the thing is, if you guys downloaded all the files that you need, it should be right into your phone. But there's two types of files that I said before. There's the no root files, and then there's the root files. The root files he provided for people that don't have the navigation bar. That is if you're rooted and I made the files that if you guys actually want to keep the navigation bar you guys can do that as well you do not need to be rooted so I'm gonna go on the top right here and select use it and then I'm gonna scroll and navigate to the files where I put that under which is today now I downloaded the no root use it since I'm keeping my navigation bar and we're going to select the UCCW today top no root dot use it 
I'm going to override it since I already have it. And it should appear just like this, this small little thing. Go to tap that, and it should be very small, and we're going to be resizing this on top. I want to resize it accordingly, like this. Just like that. Now you guys could change the RDX HD to your own name by simply tapping the widget and changing it correspondingly. But after this, we're gonna go and set up our second UCCW. Now we're going to hold down our home screen, go right into widgets, then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW right here. And once again, it's going to be a one by one, just like the other one. And we're gonna top right, we're gonna select use it. And this time we're going to select the UCCW today weather use it. Whether it's the no root or the regular use it, does not matter. I'm going to simply tap that, overwrite, since I already had the skin saved. Once again, it should be this little uh, icon right here. We're going to simply tap that. It should be really small, and then we're just going to resize it so it actually fits the middle of the home screen. It should be just like that. <laughs> there you go, just like that on UCCW. Next, we're going to be setting up our apps for the last uh, bottom row of icons right here. So the last thing needs to complete this home screen is that we are going to set up our apps and folders that are under the utilities, favorites, messages, emails, and calls icons. So we're going to be simply holding down our home screen, go into Nova Actions, and get out our app drawer so we can actually make the folder. Now we're going to be selecting our utilities apps. This could be all personal preference. I'm going to be doing downloads. Um, let's pick another one. Calculator. And then we'll also do, um, let's just say uh, settings. Even though there's already a settings one, but this is just all for demonstration. So we're going to simply make this into a folder and drag this over utilities. Next, we're going to hold down the utilities, well, like the folder itself, and select the icon. Now, we're going to navigate into uh, my gallery right here. And then under today should be a plank, a well, a blank PNG. It should just be a little black icon. Hit OK. It should be invisible, just like that. So now I could just simply tap utilities and it opens up correctly. Next, we're gonna be setting up our favorites icons or our folder. So I'm going to select my favorite apps. I can simply pick Facebook, um, Flipboard, and let's say Gmail. So same thing as the utilities, we're gonna make this into a folder. Put it right on top of the favorites little icon text. I'm going to hold down the folder select edit tap the icon go into our gallery go into today and it should also be the blank PNG and after that you're going to simply hit OK and it should just be invisible just like that and then we just hit the check mark now for messages emails and calls it is very easy we're going to go right into our outro once again go into your messaging app of choice for me it's just the default messaging app that is built right into Android. So I'm going to simply resize this and put it on top of the messages. Go into my email client, which for me would be the regular email client right here. Put that over emails and for calls, you can either use the people app or the phone. I'm going to be using the phone. And same thing as the utilities and favorites, we're all going to make these three blank PNGs. So, once again, go into gallery, today, blank PNG, check, go into email, select that, gallery, today, blank PNG, hit OK, then check that, and the same thing for phone, I'm going to simply hold it down, tap the icon, go into gallery, and then we're going to select the today, once again, hit the blank PNG, hit OK, check it, and there you go guys. We're going to simply hide the app drawer. We can simply just drag this away since we are done. And there you go guys, that is today by RDX HD. A very clean home screen for you guys. Now I'm telling you guys that this, once again, 
is a very minimalistic, beautiful, gorgeous home screen for your Android device. This is Peter from MyColorScreen.com. Make sure to subscribe, check out our Google Plus, please, and I'll catch you guys later.